Hey guys, um, I've done a couple of uh, Instagram story uh, Q&As and um, uh, one of the questions that I, I get a lot is what kind of camera do you use? And um, it's hard to answer in a, in a short format like uh, Instagram stories. So I thought I'd do this little video just to kind of um, tell you what, what I use. Keep in mind that camera is basically a tool. These are all screwdrivers. They all work equally well. I don't know if what brand model they are. Uh, you just have to uh, make a decision yourself on what kind of equipment uh, to use. When I was working at the White House, I used uh, the Canon 5D series. And I would carry uh, two cameras. Um, usually I would have a 35 millimeter lens. Uh, on one camera and a, and a 50 millimeter lens on the other camera. Then uh, on a belt, I'd have this pouch with a, a, a 135. Uh, so three fixed lenses is what I most often used, especially in the first term when I was in the Oval Office. I'd also have on my belt a flash. And the only time I would ever use a flash as if I were doing what I call a, a grip and grin. In other words, if, if he was doing uh, a posed photo standing in front of the desk because it was so backlit, I would usually bounce the flash off the ceiling with a little white card to fill in uh, the light a little bit. But predominantly, I would say the, the 35 millimeter lens uh, and, and the 135 are the two that I use the, the, the most. Um, why did I choose the Canon 5D series? Well, at the time, I felt that the Canon um, had the quietest camera. The Nikon was equally, if not better, but it was very loud. Whereas the Canon, uh, this is the 5D Mark IV, we used the 5D Mark II and then the 5D Mark III when we were at the White House. Um, but they had a silent mode, if you listen. It's pretty quiet, as opposed to if you had it on the, the regular uh, mode, it was it's pretty loud. Whereas I thought the, the quiet mode really made a big difference. And I would do single frame. Um, so it's really that people got used to the, the sound and it, and it was never really a factor. Um, now, the 35 millimeter lens. These pictures are all made with, get my mouse here, were all made with the uh, 35. This is wide open at 1.4, which is another reason why I like that lens. It had a fast aperture. Oops. Um, this is a good example of where I uh, was right behind him showing things from his perspective and just because of the quiet camera, nobody's even paying attention to me. They're all listening to him. Get back off a ways. Again, this was shot almost wide open uh, at the end of the night when there was very little light. So my exposure on this one is, I don't have my reading glasses on, one uh, 80th of a second at 1.6. So there wasn't at ISO 1600. Uh, this was the night that they passed the Affordable Care Act. <clears throat> Backing off a ways, um, it's still an effective lens. Uh, the uh, now famous picture inside the Situation Room on the night of the Bin Laden raid, all again shot with um, the 35 millimeter lens. Uh, this is at a daycare center at the um, uh, MLK Memorial, and even like the focus point, you can go really close and focus close for detail shots like this. Um, and then the 50, uh, I mentioned the 50 lens. So this is the, uh, the 50 lens, it's in my lap here, 50 millimeter lens. So just a few examples of um, the 50. You know, one of the things that I, I find is that photographers do not shoot uh, enough verticals. It used to be in the day um, where there 
there's a there's a, a, a trigger for the shutter on uh, here. And back when I had film cameras, I think I probably made more vertical pictures than I did when I was with digital. But I was trying to be aware of that. So this is another 50 millimeter. Again, all 50 millimeter. Obviously, I'm pretty close to him. The situation room. Here he is with BB uh, King. Um, again, being able to focus pretty close. This is in the cabinet room. Him with uh, with Joe and um, with uh, with Boot. Then the 135, which I what I liked was a, sh a short telephoto lens, and I like to use that a lot as well. So just a few examples of um, this is. This is actually the day they met Bo uh, in early 2009. Um, uh, for some close-up situations, it was a really good uh, lens. Um, good, good for kind of candid portraits. Uh, that, that, by the way, is on Air Force One. That's in the Situation Room. Another Situation Room photo on a weekend um, in the Roosevelt Room, agonizing about, about something. Uh, then uh, interesting happened. Interesting that thing that happened in like around 2012, 2013 is Canon came out with the second version of the 24 to 70 zoom lens. I never felt the first version was sharp, meaning that the pictures were crisp, and this lens. Uh, was was so good that I started using this a lot more than the prime 35 and uh, and 50. So here's these are all pictures taken with um, the uh, the zoom lens. Um, this is inside the limousine on uh, the second inauguration. Um, helicopter coming in and land. That now I almost always use this when I was outside. I would I would have this lens. Um, as my primary lens. Air Force One, leaving Seattle. Um, the, uh, this could be the cover of the next Pink Floyd album, maybe. <clears throat> this is in Rhode Island. Um, but, but it was sharp enough to use in the Oval Office where there wasn't nearly as much light uh, as, as outside. And um, this is uh, the uh, March on Selma, the 50th anniversary with uh, Angela Merkel in Germany, um, the White House during storm clouds, <clears throat> on our trip to Alaska, uh, inside a, a, a nuclear summit meeting at um, the Air Force Academy in, in Colorado. And when I was outside, I would um, have this lens and then also the, uh, the telephoto zoom uh, 70 to 200. I think this is the. These are all. This is all the gear that I bought after I left the White House. So some of these lenses are newer versions than what we had um, at the White House. But just a few examples of pictures that I made with that telephoto zoom lens. Secret Service agents. Him riding a horse in Hawaii. Um, a close up of their hands. This is right here in Madison, where, where I live now, um, with President Xi uh, of China. This was in, uh, at Sunnylands in California. Um, the two most famous sets of ears in Washington. Uh, nice, a good outside candid portrait. Um, also at the uh, 50th anniversary of, of Selma. Kind of an artsy uh, picture. The uh, rainbow of Jamaica. So you get the idea. So, so outside the two zooms is what I would usually carry. But I would have to say that even if um, I was carrying those two lenses outside, I would always have that 35 millimeter fixed lens uh, because you would often be in rooms where they were not very well lit. And it was really an advantage to have a fast prime lens with, a, with an aperture that you could use in, in low light. So that's sort of my basic uh, setup when I when I uh, worked at the White House. Uh, now I I, I kind of use basically the same gear. I also have an 85 that I use occasionally, and then I I purchased 
this uh, Fuji X-Pro 2, um, and this has got a 23 millimeter lens on it, which is the equivalent of a 35 millimeter for, uh, um, with the compensation factor. <clears throat> this is a great camera to use in really intimate situations because with the mirror, there's no mirror, and so it's completely quiet. So I'm actually, I just took five pictures and you just can't hear the, the shutter at all because there's no mirror. And um, I use this, for example, when I was photographing uh, Brandy Carlisle recording her last record. When I was in the studio, I was able to be in the studio while she was singing, playing guitar, because this camera made no noise. Um, so for some situations, this has been a real handy camera to have. Um, so hopefully this has been helpful. If there's other things that you'd like me to go more in depth with, why don't you comment uh, in messages and and um, and maybe there's a, additional uh, videos that I can do. Stay safe out there, wash your hands, practice social distancing. Um, we're going to get through this and in, in a couple months we'll all be outside uh, making pictures again. All right, thanks.